Walmart and I'm looking at some hassa to plant against that back wall. They got from $3.97 for a big pretty size. I'm gonna get four of them to put on that back wall. But let me show you the value. If you got these right here, they are $7.97 for six of them. That's a good price. But you want something bigger than you don't want to wait so long. So I guess it's a value if I get them just like this. This size is $3.97, and this size for six is $7.97. So, what should I do? I should buy the big ones, don't you think? Because that's going to be on that back wall, and we want them to hurry up and get through. Then I'm looking at these Hasa. I'm going to get four of these Hasa here. they $5.97 to put on that back wall as well. So, we're getting pretty close to working on that back wall. So let's see what else we're going to put on that back wall, y'all. Be right back. Okay, I'm back at the wall, y'all, at the fence. And we have came a long way. I come a long way. And I'm going to show you the end results as I finish. But right here, we at this point where I don't know whether or not if this a wild tree uh, is it a crepe myrtle? I'm sure it's a crepe myrtle, but I'm not sure what species it is because I don't think it grow any flowers at the top. It just get real tall. Now, I did cut, uh, prune the other uh, crepe myrtle, and it's coming on real good. Let me show you. Because during this wild, all this rain we have had in Mississippi, it was hard for me to keep up with the uh, dedication of doing this wall. So as it rained, this is where I prune <laughs> the crepe myrtle. And as you can see, it has grown real tall. Look at that. Mm. So I'm at this point where we're going to start right here at this in the wall. The wall is not painted. I'm going to paint the fence. But I have started paint i mean i have started planting the lantanas i want lantanas to grow here because lantanas are very beautiful and i'm gonna cover them up with dirt add water and these are the lantanas now i have sprayed uh, some weed eater around this plant here but i might i don't know keep it i might take it down but at this point it like it's gonna stay here for a minute or two to get someone to help me cut it down. I'll be right back after I mulch this. Mulch this. All right, y'all. I'm back at the wall. <laughs> I call it the wall, but it's the fence. I'm getting ready to dig this cedar tree up. I'm going to dig it up, and I'm going to plant my houses there. Houses was $3.97. I couldn't believe that they was $3.97. Cause I had paid way more than three ninety seven for houses in the front of the house. So what I'm gonna do is finish digging this tree up and see the tree, and then I'm gonna start planting the houses here. We already planted the lantanas right here. See the lantanas? We already planted. They let like they like where they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig this tree up, this cedar tree, and we're gonna start planting the houses. Okay, there's a little butt right there is. I pulled him out. He had a long root on him. So I pulled him on out, and there he is right there. And this is the hole that he left here. So we're going to get ready to clean this out and plant those hosses. Okay, I got the hosses in the holes. I'm getting ready to put water in it because they are very dry. And I'm going to fill them up. I made them two by two like that so they can look very pretty when they grow and if i need some more i get some more but i think this will be plenty as a one big togetherness these horses so i'm gonna water them and we'll be right back all right i got them all watered and covered up with the dirt and what i'm gonna do is mulch it and we'll be finished with this side and we'll start 
on this in a, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to do the mulching now. Finish with the watering and the covering up. And they're looking beautiful. So we're going to do the mulch. All right. I just finished mulching them. And they look beautiful. They're going all the way down to the antennas. And all the way down. Yes, all the way down. So I have a little few more to go. We at this rose bush now. This rose bush, I don't know if I should plant more roses on this end or what. But we got from this rose bush all the way down to finish the project from the rose bush to the crepe myrtle again. Now this crepe myrtle do not bloom. Now I didn't get a chance to um prune this one i didn't so i'm just seeing how far it grows all the way up and i mean all the way up look at that y'all and it must be a tree with no flowers i think they have so many species of crepe myrtles which i made a uh editorial and they don't have uh flowers on some of them so we're going all the way down to this section and i'm gonna keep this my squash to here and this is my apple tree. So we'll keep the apple tree. <laughs> I will not get rid of that. So we got a little dent in it, y'all. <laughs> a big dent, really. So now I think I'm going to plant those roses here. Just have this a rose area here. And we'll see what happens. I might cut this down, y'all. I might cut this down. I might. The Sandra will be back again. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with this uh, back wall, y'all. This back fence. I planted these right here. And I'm going to do some mulching when I get through planting these. I've already put them in a hole and put the water in there. And then I got this little... Uh, tag that's stuck in there and tell you what they are and what they are is let's see they cause slava spring king mini they tall little purple plants they come back they're preamble and they come back every year so i decided to keep this muscosha looking thing here and i got one two three four six of these i got four on this side and on the other side of this uh, bush, I don't know what it is, but I got two more. Right there where the ferns are. We have the ferns. And the rest of the little flowers is coming up. But look, it is a pink one. I didn't know what that was. I thought the pink drift. So those are right over here. They five, let's say one, two, three, four of those. And there's a crepe myrtle. It's getting really bushy. The crepe myrtle is getting really bushy. Look at that. And this is a different color. This is sort of a, let's see. Looks good. It's the different color. I guess I picked it up by a mistake. It's called pink. Ah, uh, Peach. Peach, y'all. And these are pink. And these are the peach ones. I keep the tags on when somebody asks, what is these? I can reach and get them. So we're going all the way down here. Now I'm going to paint the wall. I haven't finished painting the wall. So I had to do a lot of cleaning out on this side. So I'm getting ready to mulch and let you see what it looks like after I mulch it. But these going to be tall. So they're tall like halfway to this wall, I think. Then I got to go over this side, y'all. Come back and go this way. And work on the wall i mean i call it a wall but the fence so we done got a little bit ahead of ourselves so i'm gonna go ahead and do the mulch and we'll be right back 